Let's say for some reason I wanted to make this guy right here, let's call him Mike, because that's his name, black and white. Now, okay, before I do that, let me just quickly fix these uh, red eyes. In order to do that, you click on this, there's a red eye tool, and you just kind of click on the various eyes. Oops, press that wrong, here we go. Ah, it doesn't seem to be working. If I click and drag, that actually does it right there. So I'm just gonna click and drag. And, uh, you know, sometimes it does a job with just one click. Sometimes it has a little bit of a problem. In general, it does all right. All right, there we go. The red eyes are gone. Wonderful. Don't you love my super low quality images that I'm using for the sake of demonstration? I do. Let's move on. Uh, first thing that I need to do in order to make him black and white is it's basically the same thing that we did in the previous image, uh, which was uh, just grab a selection of that person first. So I'm just going to very quickly... And yes, this is my attempt at also reinforcing selection and showing why it's important for so much. If you're not sick of selection by the end of this series, I have not done my job. Uh, I'm just going to use the magnetic lasso tool with uh, pressing Alt. I make this look easy. I assure you it is uh, not easy. I'm just very good at it. I've been using this program far longer than I care to admit. Uh, you'll notice that I'm just setting points wherever I want there to be a sharp corner. Fantastic. There we go. That got rid of that right there, and I'm going to use the magnetic lasso tool uh, also with uh, shift in order to add this area up here to the selection. I don't want to spend too much time on selections uh, because the point of this is to show you how to turn him into black and white. Looks good to me. Let's actually do one last thing, which is always the last thing I do when making a selection. Well, first, let's double check and make sure I didn't uh, miss out on any absolutely, uh, you know, massive area of the image, such as this right here. You'll notice when I'm using the magnetic lasso tool, magnetic, the magnetic lasso tool, uh, it's really hard to get the edges of the page. So let's just use the polygonal lasso tool, or as I call it, the straight line lasso tool, and we'll just get all of it right there. Last step that I al always do when grabbing a selection is I zoom in a little bit, and I press refine edge, and I just make sure that it's a good edge. So I'm just going to feather it ever so slightly. There we go, blurs it a little bit, looks good to me. I'm pressing OK. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to, you guessed it, black and white, and create a black and white color adjustment layer, and that turns him into black and white. Wonderful. Job done. There's a couple of different black and white options. We can go for maximum black, maximum white. Why do I feel like that's offensive in some way? Let's assume it's not. Uh, or you can just mess with all of the various different options. Of course, there's sliders, and uh, that allows you to have that much more control. If I were to bring down the opacity of this a little bit, he'd be somewhat faded. Or we can make it so he's not at all faded. And that would be how I could change one element to just being black and white.